to 2009, my son, my old, my nine years old at that time, son asked me to attend the judo championship. And I thought, well, for a sunny Saturday, I think it's a boring program. But anyway, he enjoyed judo. He's, he was uh, training for four years then. So I decided to join him and share the moment. When the, came, the day came, we went to Benfica Stadium and I was not surprised to see less people, not as much as I, I expected. It was around 1,000 people. But looking around, it seems like my son and I, a kind of family, a brother, mother, uh, well, it seems like a family event. This is weird for me. Okay. The event was the European Judo Championship in Lisbon and 14 countries were involved. I don't know if you know a little bit about Judo, but there is two fighters we call judokas, one in white suit, another one in the blue suit, and there is three ways to win the fight. The first one is to throw the other guy in, with the back in the floor, the second one is immobilization for 20 seconds, and the third one is the chokes. At that time, I didn't know nothing about judo. So I was looking the three fighting areas, just for looking, not paying too much attention. And then I realized that a few meters from me, there is one guy explaining everything to the people around. It seems that it was his family. So he ex explained that they grabbed the, the hand and the suit and they pushed the other people in that direction, but what they really meant is to throw the guy in that direction, in the other direction. So they are using the force the other pe person is doing to throw him. So, okay, that's, uh, that's nice, I thought in the moment. But he keep going on, explaining everything what is happening. So some of the techniques. So for example, see, put the leg in the, the, the back of the person and making the movement, this movement, the person will fall down, is a sotogari. And for example, if bring it, picking the bell from behind and putting the hips, he is able to throw the person again into the floor. And that kind of details, make me realize, well, understand me a little bit what is happening over there, but also realize that what is happening in the, in the fighting area because they are not punching or kicking. They are just finding opportunities to apply one technique. And this is difficult because both of them know all the techniques. And then it came to me that an idea that, well, this is not a violent moment. Is kind of a game. They are trying to put themselves in one position to apply a technique and the other person is moving, so it's not possible to apply that technique anymore. So they change the technique and this is going on all the time until one of the three conditions happen. And this changed completely my vision. So I couldn't understand what is happening over there. So me and my son were making some comments. Also, listen, the guy, it was, wow. This is completely different what I was, I was expecting. And then one big fight came. Till that moment, the, the public, the audience was reacting one of two moments. But in this fight between a French guy and an Ukrainian, it was much more emotions involved. So this, the, the, the fight started, and we move, We saw the guys moving around, trying to find a position itself. They're trying something, and the people are reacting. Says, "Oh, oh, oh no, ah, no!" And then the French miss one position, and the Ukrainian guy pick the other one, bend over, and throw it away with a morotesio nagi. Ipum, that means they won. The public in general, all the people around there were applauding, were shouting. So much energy over there, we, feel, we felt really involved in this. Well, the champion is over, the championship is over, we get out of the stadium, 
And I'm making some comments with my son. He says, oh, how great. You see that kind of techniques? You saw this, this technique and you know that one? <clears throat> and we are playing with each other in the middle of the street. And then, and then I realize, my gosh, I'm in the middle of the street playing the fool. I'm looking around to see if no one's noticed me. But then I was surprised. Everyone, but everyone over there was doing exactly the same thing as me and my son. They are playing and trying to replicate the, some of the techniques. There were so much energy over there that you can feel it in the air. That moment changed my life because in that moment, I decided to join João Pedro, my son, in the judo training. And now I'm very proud to say that I'm a black belt and a judo referee. Thank you. Thank you.